I, I felt a lot of fear watching your show. Like, I'm being honest with you, I couldn't, like, really allow myself to quite enjoy it because I'm an addict, yeah. and I'm an out-of-control addict, you know, and I take things so far because there's a huge part of myself that I, I just don't like myself. You're a joke. You're not an artist. Childhood trauma mixed with what I was doing, mixed with lying, mixed with working, all so happened to weigh down on me. So I started by promising myself no more fooling around. And I just was unable to stop. But then immediately after that pleasure, or wrapped up in it, was shame. I just figured it was something bad. It was something with my body. It was in my private space. You know, I, I, I just felt like a pervert. I felt like a monster. And there's no, no earning in it, other, aside from enduring the pain, you know? It breaks down my whole thing wow. like that. Yeah. Huge impact on me. I feel the same way as you, because I genuinely wouldn't be in this place now if it weren't for every single thing going exactly the way it did. We all have a brokenness. We all have cracks in us, and that's where the light shines through. When you think about love, joy, sadness, what part of your body does that come from? I'm Ram Pills here, yeah. Feelings check. You're beautiful. And you just have to know that, and it doesn't matter what they say. Little David thinks you're going to get sent away if you misbehave. You have to realize, OK, little David, you're not with your parents anymore. No one's going to send you away, and we're going to be just fine. I love you, Dave. Can you love yourself? I'm going to try. <laughs>